Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the next video about large language models. Today, we're gonna run a large language model locally. Yes, you heard me right, locally on our system. To do this, of course, as always, we need a few uh, modules we need to import first and also we need the weights. So we need a large language model and in our case, we're gonna use an open source one. Well, open source is uh, for up for interpretation, of course, but we're gonna use the Llama model uh, from Meta. And to be specific, we'll use the Llama 7 billion model with 7 billion parameters. You know, there are also other ones out there, the largest one with 70 billion parameters, but for us now, we're gonna use the smallest one. To do this, we need to download the weights. Now, we can find those weights on the Hugging Face homepage. So you go here under Hugging Face, and if you search for Llama 2 7 billion jet GGML for that, you can then download different kinds of, uh, well, weights here for the model. And you can also see the size. So they are, let's say, quite large, actually. But for us now, I'm gonna use a smaller one, which is only around, uh, it also depends on the quantization, but uh, which is only around uh, here, this one I think I'm gonna use, this one. And it's only this one, uh, up to around four gigabytes of data. But just to mention this, this is what you basically need. And you can also see the max RAM required, which is also stated in here. I also like to mention that we have two options. We can either run it via our GPU. So if you have CUDA and NVIDIA GPU, you can do this, or you could also run it via the GPU. So there is no CPU required for that. So having said that, this is what we need to download. So it might take a little bit of time, depending on your internet connection. But as I said, you can download the weights here for free. And you can choose also other models if you would like to try them. So that's that for downloading the weights first. And after this, we need to store them, of course, in our folder. And then we are actually good to go. So this time I already have written the code here and we can go through it. But I'd like to mention here um, for the next couple of videos, please let me know. Do you want to see me just also typing the code and explain it? Or should we only go through the code like this? So if you prefer, some, uh, prefer something, let me know. Also, if you have not done so far, please consider subscribing to the channel because the more people subscribe and are interested in the videos, the more uh, videos I will create, of course. So that's having said that, let's start. So for this one, uh, this time I'd like to have, uh, let's say a nicer interface. So in this case, I'm gonna use Streamlit. There are also other ones out there, for instance, Chainlit and so on. So if you want uh, to see videos about that, just let me know. But for now, we're gonna use Streamlit because last time we only had the console and sometimes it's much, well, fancier to have some kind of interface. So. For that, I just uh, down, uh, download and install to actually Streamlit, and then I just import it here, Streamlit, also Streamchat, which is a separate, um, well, library, which I also installed here to use the message option here. And then we're gonna use a lot of functionalities from Langchain. So Langchain, if you don't know, is a great package all around creating chains, uh, so working with LLMs in a really nice uh, way. So I highly encourage you to try this out, this package, and download it. So from chains, we're gonna use the conversational retrieval chain here, and of course we need to have some loaders, in this case the PyPDF loader and the directory loader, as well as here some kinds of embeddings. And because we use a free model, we're gonna use the hugging face embeddings in this case. So that's that. And uh, then of course we also need C transformers because that's required in order to use the local weights we have downloaded. Then we need some kind of vector store, which is the faces vector store we're gonna use for free. Here, there are also other ones out there, uh, Pinecone for instance, and there's also uh, ChromaDB and other ones, but we're gonna use Face because Face is for free. And then we also give uh, the large language model some memory. So then we specified here the model. Here the model is uh, this one here, this is exactly the bin file, which needs to be placed in the same folder as I'm gonna call it here, otherwise it can be found. So that's why you need to store uh, the script as well as uh, the model weights after you download them in the same folder. Model type is Llama, and then you can set config, like the maximum tokens you want to generate, as well as the temperature, which you can play around with. And um, that's basically some uh, default parameters we set here. Then we just load the data. In this case, uh, in my case, I'm using PDF files. So I want to read data from PDF files, and then I want to give this to the model, and then I will ask my question, and the model should answer to that. So for the PDF file itself, uh, let me just check where I have it. Um, uh, there it is. So I'm gonna use this one, I found it on the internet, and that's just, as you can see here, a PDF file, healthy food for life. And then there are some healthy foods available here, and they yeah, they talk about what kind of food is healthy, what is not healthy, and so on. It's around seven pages here. You could also use bigger ones, but that's what I found, and I'm gonna use this, and I downloaded it, and also stored it in a folder so we can read it by a long check. 
So that's why we basically use here the directory loader. We load all the PDF files in this directory, in this case only one, and we read the PDF like that PDF with the PyPDF loader. So we read it, we store it and, and chunk it down into different sizes, uh, smaller sizes because the model can't give or can't read uh, the whole context because it's most often too big. So we just split it into sizes and then we store it in here in a vector store, which is Vice. That's our vector store. We give it some memory here and then we run our chain. And you can see here that's a default chain, the vector store is the retriever. And then we just create here a streamlet app, um, go through it, and then we just answer the question. So let's run this. Let's call streamlet, streamlet, and then run. And then it's uh, llama local.py in my case. And let me just show you how that works. So let's run this. And uh, there it is, it opens. And then we got our chat interface in here. So here we go. That's it. Just takes a little bit of time. It's still running here uh, for loading the model, but just a minute we should see it. And there it is. You can see here, we got uh, here the option to question. And now let's say just list three healthy foods, for instance, and then I click on go. And now we are running this local model. So instead of calling the API, we just run the local model. And in my case, I'm running it on my uh, GPU here. But as I said, you can also run it via the uh, CPU. And yeah, it might take a little bit of time, uh, of course, uh, because uh, now we need to create the vector store first and then uh, feed this also to the model itself. But um, as I said, it's just running locally. And of course, this will also get better from time uh, with time. But for now, that's just the first steps running a local model. So let's just wait a little bit longer. And then we should actually see here the output. And here you go, you can see three healthy foods here, and then lean meat, eggs, and then nuts, which is just coming from exactly this PDF file we have seen. So that's it for this video. So hopefully you enjoyed it. As always, if you like it, please give this video a like, also share it with your friends, and please consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, best guys.